Well, hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Wednesday, August 24th of 2022, so it is officially Virgo season. We have moved from the fire to the earth. That is super exciting. And it is my last day here in Cincinnati. My flight leaves tomorrow rising at what time? My flight leaves at 8. So yeah. So by 10 o'clock tomorrow I will be back in Florida so super exciting I get to go home to my sweet little pup and see her and give her all the kisses and stuff yeah I'm looking so forward to it so I'm happy I'm really happy about it like it's kind of bittersweet but for real I am happy about it because I I miss her and like I think that sometimes people forget how important things are until they don't have them around. And my little doggy is so, <laughs> she's, she's my little heart. So I love her and I miss her so much. And so like the people around me don't understand like why I want to go back and like see her and stuff, but yeah, that's not my problem. That's their lack of understanding. So for me, it's not an option. I've been gone for her, from her for way too long. And she's like my little bestie. So yeah, I am super excited to be back tomorrow. So I think I might end up recording tomorrow's message while I am here because I will be traveling tomorrow and won't, well, if I were to post a message tomorrow from back home, then it would be like super late. It would be like in the afternoon. So I think that I just might, I don't know, I'm still undecided on it. So anyways enough talking so happy work happy birthday to all the Virgos out there I'm super excited to see how this season plays out for us this year in 2022 <laughs> so all of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message so if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is something here for you. So, let's get into the energies today. Oh, oh. go and there's another school bus that's coming by so I apologize if it gets loud oh okay we had two of them flip over so okay so we got two cards today so first we have the color breathing activity card number 98 so Card number 98 out of 100 cards, I feel that this is kind of a signal that, you know, we are close to the end of something. So, what is it in your own journey that you are close to the end of? Because that, I feel this is a sign for that. So, 
out of these out of this deck of cards there's 99 and 100 after 98 so there's 100 cards in the deck and so this card is two away from being in at the end so what are you really close to the end of are you close to ending something are you close to the end? well actually like I'm close to the end of my trip <laughs> here so yeah that's funny um so what are you close to the end of or like we are in the end of well technically we're at the beginning of Virgo season so but I feel like this is signifying that we are close to the end of something so however that applies to you within your own journey you will know so color breathing activity choose your color according to the chakra you wish to balance if in doubt you could choose a rainbow of all colors or just use white step one make yourself comfortable whether sitting or lying down close your eyes and bring your attention to your breathing Step two, visualize your color, and if you're struggling, choose an object of that color. Example, grass for green. Step three, breathe in the color slowly. Imagine this color spreading to every part of your body. Notice the sensations. Take as long as you need. Step four, when you are ready, start to bring your attention back to the here and now. Opening your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths and notice how you feel. So I feel that we are being guided to tune into our chakras. So tune into the energy of breathing and our chakras and how, like what we feel. So earlier this week we had a throat chakra affirmation come out that says I listen that said I listen to my body and my feelings know what truth is. So I feel that with this card coming out we are being guided to listen to our body. What color are you being guided to to focus on? Cuz your inner guidance is going to be your best guidance. So if whatever is the first color that pops into your head that is probably the chakra that you should be focusing on and balancing so as you can see along the bottom here all of the colors are illuminated so whichever chakra you feel needs the most balance you're being guided to balance that chakra with breathing so I mean breathing is the easiest thing that we can all do it's just a matter of paying attention to it while we're doing it so we also have card number 93 another card in the 90s so cards close to the end so we have a crown chakra affirmation I am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers I am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers so how within your own journey are or can you be open to the abundance that the universe offers we are always being offered great things from the universe it's only a matter of our own perspective that changes it so the universe is always working in I guess you could say mysterious ways but in actual reality it's not mysterious the universe is always working for our highest good and the universe is always giving us what we ask for whether we're consciously asking for it or subconsciously asking for it but it's more about us being on the same vibration level of that thing that we want and going from there so I don't know if you can hear the car alarm that's going off you probably can but just alarms so is there something that is alarming you within your own journey that has to do with receiving something from the universe maybe you're alarmed that you haven't received what you've asked for or maybe you're alarmed that you don't know if you're ready for something or however this applies to you within your own journey you will know but just know that 
with divine timing, everything comes to us when it is meant to. Everything is in divine timing. Nothing comes to us before we're ready for it and nothing that we cannot handle. We are not ever giving anything that we cannot handle. So, so that is the message for this wonderful Wednesday. Um, like I said, I'm still deciding if I should pre-record a message or if I should just wait till I get home tomorrow and post one tomorrow afternoon. I'm still deciding. I might just post one tomorrow afternoon. But, yeah. So, thank you all for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you so, so much. If you resonated with this message, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. So, thank you, thank you, thank you once again. I will see you in the next one.